Hi kids, do you like violence? Wanna see me put a nine inch nail through one of my eyelids? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm a Slim Shady, a real Slim Shady nigga. Please stand up. Please stand up. Like, what? Huh? This is what's popping in these streets in <laughs> late 99? This was high in these streets? I never understood Eminem. I never understood why the appeal to him for real. Like, and a lot of people walk around talking about he's the greatest ever. He's the greatest. He's the GOAT. I'm like, how? Do you listen to his music? Talks about kidnapping his baby mom and put him in a trunk and poking his mom's in the back and do like what? You remember the movie The Wash with Dr. Dre and, and Snoop Dogg? You remember the role Eminem played in that movie? That's who his music appeals to to me. Them Columbine white rage, I'm not gonna take it. No, I'm not gonna take it. Like, like that's what his music is made for. Like, I don't understand why people like his music. Like, what do you like about him? Like, yeah, he got some dope songs. I am whatever you say I am. If it wasn't, then why would you say I am? Like, he got some, he got some joints. We're not gonna lie, he got some joints. But like, he just happened to be a a, a white rapper in a black culture, to where mostly white fans, white frat boys, college kids buy his music. So let me get this right. Eminem Kid Hove on a song to where Hove said, I had to hustle my back to the wall, ashy knuckles, pockets full with a lot of lint, not a cent, got a vent, a lot of innocent lives lost on that project bench, what your holler rent, got to pay rent, bring dollars in? What? What? How can you say that is losing to anything of anything? Like, y'all overrate, y'all overrate M on, on Renegade, y'all overrate you overrate ether for real for real like if you want to be for real like you know what that's another story for another day and to me eminem is probably the not probably is the most overrated rapper in the history of hip-hop eminem is overrated bro i know i know i don't know how else to say it and what's crazy is a lot of people feel the same way about a war a lot of people feel like it was overrated as well now before we just start throwing words like overrated around can we get an understanding of what overrated actually means what does overrated actually mean? Overrated means to be rated or valued too highly. So is a award rated or valued too highly in battle rap? Let's break it down. And big K for a lot of people, it's Edward's first clear loss in a long time. And this is when this, this argument of Edward being overrated was magnified again with the Big K battle. Now, Edward did not do bad in that battle. Edward just happened to face somebody that was better that day. But a lot of people feel like after the Big K battle, yeah, Edward overrated, man. Like I told you, he wasn't, he wasn't that. He wasn't him. I am whatever you say I am. If it wasn't, the why would you say I am? He wasn't that. A lot of people feel like that Big K battle exposed A Ward for not being as great as everybody within the culture make him out to be. And for good reason. But everybody loses B. You'll be alright. Like, I'm not tripping off a, a loss. Like, everybody loses in, in battle rap. That's nothing new. Your favorite, 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 favorite battle rapper has taken a crazy loss or clear loss. I saw with my own eyes a verb lost to gems for money. Like I don't, I don't to this day understand how I saw a verb, one of the greatest ever, lose to gems. Mister, stop being dirty. Protect your peace. Battle rapper. I don't understand how I saw him lose to gems for money. Like I don't, under, I don't get it to this day. I don't get it. Like dog, there's an actual holiday in battle rap. There's a holiday in battle rap. December 14th. If you know, you know. What the fuck happened to Sue Surf Day? That's a thing because Sue Surf got beat so bad by Charlie Clips. Like, people lose every day, B. I'm not tripping because A Ward lost a battle. The only reason why that the Big K performance, the Big K battle means so much, is because A Ward has been so consistent of not clearly losing for a very long time for a very long time 
Ilwar went on a like Ilwar was on a run that we we only seen from Easy to Block Captain at his current time. Only seen from Gichi Gotti. And now because of one battle, all of a sudden he's overrated. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I think that's that's a reach. I reach when I even got this shit. Getting get back to Sue Sir. I reach when I even got this shit. Like yo. That's that's kind of a reach. And like for real, for real, like <laughs> it seemed it seemed like the only time A War loses against his white brethren. <laughs> like that's the only time he loses. He loses against Big K. Loses against Ill Mac. Like he lose real deal. Like he don't he don't do well against his own people. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But he don't do do well versus his own non melanated brothers. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. Speaking of A War's complexion. People feel like A War gets some kind of pass, right? He gets some kind of pass for not being black, for being white in a, in a, in a majority black culture. He, people, a lot of people feel like A War gets some type of privilege because A War is a white a white man in a black culture. That a lot of times our expectations of non melanated peoples aren't that high so when we see someone like an a ward do the work that he does in bad rap we might be cheering it a little bit more it's, but it's like what a verb said to pass stay in basketball we supposed to win meal standard of black boys but the crowd go crazy and lose their mind when you do a layup and smack the backboard i'm back boy. that that that's a sentiment for a lot of for a lot of people i can understand that like i feel that way about sharon no disrespect to Sharon, but I feel that way about Sharon. Sharon comes up here bringing fake prop guns, <laughs> like get, getting five fingers to the face. He comes up here. I, I saw Sharon. I saw Sharon battle a black man who was in office, actually helping the community and helping the black community with black injustices going on in society and a, and a man that helped people in regards to mental health I saw Sharon go up to that same man and, and clown him for his mental health I was I was not down with that I was not cool with that I did not like that Sharon comes around here talking about he's the smack killer there ain't no white people dominating on the URL like it's mostly black men and women so when you say you're the smack killer it sounds like you're saying you're the black killer like that's what that's that's how it comes off to me right a lot of times Sharon comes off as somebody that panders and does all these different things that he don't even know enough to know that he don't know like he does certain things and I'm like you don't even know like you don't like you just you just you just you just ignorant to certain things Sharon is a dope bad rapper he dope but a lot of times this comes off corny to me I don't get him I don't understand him I, I, I don't like some of the stuff he does but then you have somebody on the other side of the spectrum, like a past day, who for me seems like somebody that isn't going to pander. He's comfortable in his own skin. He 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 comes from that certain cloth that that what we say in the black community, he's invited to the cookout. Right? He 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 was on smack. He wasn't calling himself the smack killer. He looked like a smack bad rapper though. A URL bad rapper because of, of his flow. His cadence, his performance, his material, like that's that's somebody that I resonated with. God rest his soul, past day. Like he he resonated with me and I didn't feel like he he was corny or overrated in, in the least. So you have somebody like a past day, you have somebody like a Sharon, and when I look at the spectrum of where A Ward lands in that, he gotta go to the past day side. A Ward has never come off as corny to me, pandering to me. There have been times where he might have had a little bit of uncomfortable conversations or things and he addressed them full on, never shied away from them. But Edward has never been somebody that has been disrespectful to our culture, disrespectful to our people. And he's been straight up like I don't I don't I don't see him as corny or none of that. He is who he is. And he's true to who he is in my eyes, so I can't say that 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 whole white angle. It doesn't. I don't. I don't see that. I can't see the, how the whole his race plays any part of him being 
overrated or not or dope or not. Not for a war because at the end of the day, for whatever if you're gonna be honest, I don't really understand the whole race angle with a lot of people. A lot of people got their fake kufis on, doing their best imitation like don't be in minutes. But when niggas talking about, you know, black, my black brother, my black sister, and all these different things, they turn around and talk about my milk of magnesia. Oh, my white queen. Like, y'all wanted them for real. You no, know, I got, got off on a tangent right there. I need to reel it back. Reel it back. Reel it back. There you go. But A Ward. A lot of people say, oh, he Christian. He ain't supposed to be talking about killing and all these different things. You know, like, bro. It's battle rap. 99.95 of these people that say what they're doing in the raps are not doing what they say they're doing in the raps. What more Mook say to Tay Rock? Yo, Rock, everything violent that you say gonna happen is not gonna happen. Usually, A Ward's material is suited for his opponent, tailored to his opponent, and talk about his opponent's character or his or his opponents or her him or her's resume like he's not talking about gun toting all day it's 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 a it's a lose lose because if he went up here talking about you got to love your brother and your sister you got to love you got to love each other we got to we got to turn the other cheek don't be saying i'm going to take a leak this guy sucks now, if A Ward's out here acting like he's a gangster, act like he act like he really about that life, okay, that's different. If he's putting out hypotheticals and and creating scenarios and stuff, I can't be mad at that because that's ninety nine percent of battle rap, and ninety nine percent of battle rap ain't even about that life for real. And a lot of that type of criticism, I feel like, comes from. URL, the world's most respected. Now, I can definitely understand people want to see A Ward on URL. In order to be solidified in this art form, you have to be on URL. I truly feel that way. I do feel that way. In order, in terms of being an all time great, a legend, at one time or another, you have to be on the world's most respected. Even if you don't agree with the tagline of the world's most respected, it is clearly the world's most respected league in battle rap. URL, smack. Like, it's, that's, that's, that's for real. And I do agree, A Ward must be on URL at one point or another in his career. Yeah, he, ha- he just has to. He got to. But the thing is, to act like A Ward ain't been tested, ain't really been through nothing because it ain't been on URL. Remember, wrong! You see, a lot of people got this misconception about people off URL. Like, people think, like, I remember when Loso was on his run before he got to URL, like 2016, 17. And people were like, Loso's, Loso's cool, but once he get on URL, it's gonna be different. And then he goes on to have solid battles, but then faces Chef Trez and has a lackluster performance. And then people go like, see, I told you so. It's like, huh? I remember when B-Dot was on his run, 2015, 16, 17, before he got on URL. And he was going viral, every or going on World Star, different things of that nature. But people was like, "Yeah, B Dot Cole, but once he gets on URL, and then he has a lot of performance versus JC." And people were like, "See, I told you, uh-huh. it was Martin Luther King versus Malcolm X. That battle wasn't for us. Like, they were having their own debate up there. They was having some type of religious debate. I, it just it wasn't for the URL type crowd. B Dot was able to have that battle with Loso on bullpen, one of the best." battles maybe the best battle on bullpen history B Dow versus Loso now that debate they were having was more fit for that crowd and for that and for that platform not URL URL ain't really trying no no religion debate up like people ain't really trying to hear that it's not that I don't feel like air wars go all of a sudden go to you URL and be trash I can't see that why because the top people on URL he's already faced he already faced the likes of your Danny Myers, your old Reds, who was a champion of the year. Your Geechee, three-time champion of the year and Geechee Gotti. Your Rum Nitties, who, by the way, explained to me how a battle that was off URL became battle of the year on the Cody panel. That's not coincidence. It's because dope is dope anywhere. Dope sells itself. A War versus Rum Nitty is dope no matter the platform. Like what's crazy about the whole URL A War debate, it seems like only your losses matter off of URL, but not your wins. 
When people talk about A Ward, they talk about Big K, they talk about XL, they talk about LMAC, they even talk about DNA. They talk about these losses, which once again is only four law four or five losses, maybe maybe clear losses within five hundred battles. So you mean to tell me he took four losses and four hundred battles and now he's overrated? I don't, oh huh? I don't know that math ain't math from right. I don't I don't understand that math. I don't I don't get it. But yes, A Ward does battle a lot of up and comers, a lot of what people say potato chips. Stuff. But that's more of him giving people a chance. It's not really for to prove how great he is. Like he just he gives back to the culture. So at this point, it's like I don't know what you want from A Ward outside of just say, hey, I just want you to be on URL. Cool, that's fine. Just say that. See, I just really want to see you on URL. You ain't gotta say He's trash. You gotta say he's overrated. Is A Ward overrated? No, he's not. He's not overrated. If anything, he's probably underappreciated. He's, he's like Danny Myers. Like, Danny Myers will face anybody because he loves this art form. And sometimes it could be the detriment of uh, Danny Myers. And I'm gonna say the same thing about A Ward. Sometimes A Ward, like, you don't gotta battle a random nigga in Idaho <laughs> on WTF Battle League against, you know, Sandpaper Sam, one rounder for fifty dollars. Like I don't understand. Like you don't have to do that, A War. You don't gotta face these random your these random NBA two K created players. You don't gotta do that. But if that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. But you can't say A War doesn't give his all every battle. Doesn't give one hundred percent every battle. Doesn't take every battle, no matter if it's a top tier, low tier, up and comer. Rookie, vet, he gives his all every battle. He gives 100% every battle. And he has dope material no matter where it is, who it's against. That's what we want in a battle rapper, do we not? Do you forget why Champion was created? Champion was created because people were showing up, stealing deposits, or people were not showing up at all, or people were choking every round. That's the reason for why Champion was created. Shout out to Jay Black. Champion would never be created if everybody had the same, the same spirit and the same caliber uh, of competitiveness as an A Ward. Champion might have never been created because people were actually were doing their job. You remember that? You remember that blog? Oh, y'all, y'all were come on somebody, somebody in the background, come on somebody. Y'all remember that? The men that blog by Jay Black a long time ago. Do your job. You never have to worry about saying that to A Ward. And we're not giving out participation awards or gold stars because you showed up. No, A Ward not only shows up, but he does the work. That what you're supposed to be as a battle rapper. Hell, sleet or snow. A lot of people come up with excuses to why they didn't go to a battle, why they didn't show up that day. Oh, my dog died, or my my um, or my baby ate my paperwork, or they, they come up with all these different things. You never hear A War come up with excuse. They come up here talking about A War is overrated. I don't agree with that. Now, at the end of the day, I'm not here to tell you to like A War at all. You ain't gotta like A War. You don't. I don't care if you like him or not. I could care less. What you eat don't make me ish. Where's the love? Like I can do this all day. Like, come on, look how I come around, though. Remember, I'll talk about Renegade. Renegade was on Blueprint, Jay Z, and not. Like, I do this. Ain't no love in the heart of the city. Ain't no love in the heart of time. Every day I wake up, somebody got something to say. Oh my God, I love the Blueprint. But, like, nah, A1 ain't overrated, man. He's not overrated. But that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Like, share. All the things, all of the things, freaking all of the things. Where's that? Where's that from again? Bill Collector. His battle with Bill Collector is fire, bro. Like, what are we doing? Like, man, come on. Battle rap, hold it down. Hold it down is what we do. Me. If a round with a pistol lit, I'll put a beam on my rush more like Richie Rich. Oh, bitches lit. Oh, 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 bitches lit, lit, lit.